Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be on the PB, as you can see, and we are looking at these new orbs, these new crafting orbs that are coming with the arcade patch and skins and stuff, the kind of event, I guess, which should be next week. I think they were very similar to the chests, uh, just slightly differently. You have chances to get like gemstones and actually the exclusive skins from the Hexit crafting as well that you would normally need gemstones for. So if you get really lucky, you get like a Hexagani, a Dreadnought Darius, or like a Hecarim. But let me just show you very quickly what is actually in them. So you've got three types of orbs, good, great, and mega. Uh, we have the good orb is basically a champion shard, summoner icon, or ward skin shard. So these are the cheap ones that are not really any skins or anything in them, but you do have a chance at getting hexagani, which is pretty cool, and a gemstone. The great orb gets a lot better. We have the skin shards now, so we can actually start to get skins. And again, these all have chances to contain another orb after you've opened it, which is pretty cool actually. So like if you open an orb, you can just get another one straight away for free, basically. Like if you're really lucky, you could just double your orb count, I guess. But you have a chance to get a gemstone again and dead number Darius. And finally, for our Mega Orb, which is 45 RP more than the Great One. So not a ton more, but a bit more. We have Legacy Skin Shards, which means you can't buy them in the shop anymore. Uh, a chance to get another orb. Two gemstones this time. So if you're gemstone hunting, I guess this is the one for you. And also the new loot exclusive Lancer Zero Hecarim skin, which should be dropping with the patch as well. So uh, there's other stuff with this event. Uh, it's kind of a different, like you can buy this with RP obviously, but if I go into the loot store very quickly, they're also introducing these tickets. Uh, these tickets can be rewarded for anything you can see on screen. Obviously you get them from, well, at the moment, the only way to get them is by buying a bundle of Hexec chests. Uh, if I go back actually to the store very quickly and show you, if you buy a, a bundle, it's also included are uh, some tickets as well. So you can see here, if you buy 11, you're gonna be getting 110 tickets extra on top of that. Now. I reckon they're probably going to introduce these into like missions and stuff because that would make sense, right? You play during the event and you get tickets which you can reward for stuff like this, right? But even if they don't, you can buy them with RP and we're going to see basically whether it's worth you doing it. See how lucky I am, but whether it's just worth in general. That is a really cool ward skin shot. Whether it's worth you guys uh, spending real money on these when they hit the live servers as we said probably next week. Okay, so we've already got an extra orb which is pretty sweet. So we've opened two uh, chess and we are back up to five already so we started with six because i can't count i meant to get five but <laughs> i lost track apparently when i was buying them so there is actually a new th i don't know if this is new or not but i haven't opened one in a little while but you can open both of them at the same time apparently we're gonna go one by one just to make it a bit easier and then finally uh, last one so these are supposed to be the rubbish ones really like they're the cheap version uh, these are now entering the skin shards though so this should be this is like the middle tier right these are the current Oh, that is an awful skin. Uh, these are the current skins that are available to buy in the shop still. Um, but that looks like Legacy as well. So it seems like you can just get any random skin shard like out of a Hexec chest. It doesn't have to be newer ones. That is a cool skin though. So it can just be like literally anything uh, like a normal chest basically. So, oh, ho, ho. that is the British Trogas skin. That is cracky. Very appropriate. So that's pretty cool, at least. We got uh, lucky with that. But we have no extra orbs so far and no gemstones either. So these are quite expensive. Like this is 2,000. Oh, there we go. We got an extra orb. That's nice. So it's 2,500 RP for 10 of these. Uh, and we've got 11 orbs so far, I guess. We've got a couple of decent skins. So we got one for free. But it seems like the drop chance on these gemstones and uh, getting an extra orb isn't actually that high. Okay, so we've got two out of 10. So... Oh, and a nice skin, actually. So we've got an extra two uh, orbs out of ten, which is not that bad. Oh, oh okay. So we got <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> Let's go for a... Uh, see if we get another one. Okay, so we got a gemstone. That's really cool. So out of these ten, we got uh, 13 orbs and we got one gemstone. So that's actually not... That's not too bad. Like, 13 skins for the price of ten orbs, I guess. Well, we should have got ten. And a gemstone. So in theory, this one should be better because this is the most expensive, right? That's, okay, we already got a Mega Orb, so we basically just got a free orb straight away. Now, one of the things, right, with this one that I'm a bit worried about is, like, uh, these Legacy skins tend to be Legacy because they are outdated and they are rarer, which is cool. So if you're all about the rare skins, that's great, but they tend to be, like, not as cool as the newer ones because Riot Skin Department is, like, 10 times better than it used to be, like, four or five years ago. So, legacy skins are rare, but not necessarily the coolest thing ever. And you're paying more RP to get them. I don't know if I really think that's a good idea or not. But, uh, yeah, it might be just be a case of, 
like unless you're hunting rare skins, you might want to go for. Uh, oh, did we get another gemstone? Oh, we got two. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. These mega rolls. That is all right. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> We're going with this one. So, <laughs> so that's actually not too bad. Like we opened ten orbs. We got what one extra, and we got two gemstones. So even though the skins aren't that amazing, I guess you're buying this because you want to try and get some gemstones, right? Uh, out of it. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, we spent like five thousand RP on these, and we got three gemstones out of it and a bunch of skins. Some of them were pretty cool. Uh, some of them not so much. I'm not really sure. You know how we did some before, right? Like there was uh, the Lunar Rebel, I think. Um, skin like event for the hex hex chest and stuff and those dropped loads of gemstones it doesn't seem like these the chance of gemstones is that high but you do have a chance for double gemstones which is pretty cool so three out of like 20 like three gemstones out of 20 chests normally that's ridiculous right you're never gonna hit that so actually three out of like 20 orbs is not that bad honestly you're probably gonna be opening more than 20 chests for like one gemstone i guess Actually, see, I guess, like, if you stand back a bit, that's actually not that bad. But anyway, hopefully you give, uh, get more of an idea of whether you should buy these if your luck's a bit better than mine. Or I'm not too bad. I'm not too fast with, like, three gemstones, but some cooler skins would be nice. If you think your luck's pretty good, uh, you could just RNG orbs over and over again, which would be pretty cool. This should be dropping um, in next week, next patch, I think, with the new arcade skins and stuff like that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, though. A little look into the new arcade orb. Crafting system, and yeah, I'll catch you in uh, tomorrow's video.